Yo, what's going on guys? In today's video, we're going to be going over how to create this freeze frame transition. It's kind of like a teleport transition where we have our subject cutting really fast and it creates this really cool energetic transition. So let's get right into it. Here in After Effects, I have these two clips from Camo's music video. What we're going to do is just go to where the cut is between your first two clips. And we're going to be using the second clip in order to create this transition. So you want to duplicate this layer by clicking Control D and then right click this layer, go to time, click freeze frame and what that does is freeze frame the first frame of this layer so now it's a still image and that's essentially how freeze frame transitions work you use a still image in order to create this transition now what we're going to do is grab the pen tool and i'm going to mask out my subject after you mask out your subject click your layer and click m twice in order to open up the mask I'm just going to turn this layer off for now i'm going to increase the mask feather by one and then decrease the mask expansion to negative one also going to do that for mask two as well so increase the mask feather to one and then i'll increase the mask expansion to one for this one and because i do want to get rid of this part of the subject i'm going to change this to subtract and now as you guys can see we have smoother edges for our subject the next thing we're going to do is grab this layer and just drag it back six frames. Also make sure to cut this layer so that it's only six frames long. And when it comes to this transition, we are going to be duplicating this layer a few times. For this first freeze frame layer, I'm going to move the position. I'm going to move this one towards the left because I want the freeze frame transition where we have our subject coming in from the left to the right. Move it all the way towards the left and I'm also just going to drag it down. And the reason why I'm moving the position is because I feel like it will make the transition look better if we have all of our free frame layers in different positions. The next thing we're going to do is actually cut this layer in half. So it's going to be three frames long. And for this layer, we're going to add an exposure, increase the exposure to six, keyframe it at the start, and then go towards the end of this layer, keyframe it to one. Because as this transition is happening, I want this layer to have this flash effect. And for the next effect, we're going to add a directional blur. For this effect, I'm really going to increase the blur length to around like 180 keyframe that at the start and then go towards the end keyframe it to 80 easy ease all of these keyframes now what we're going to do is duplicate this layer again bring it forward three frames cut this layer so that's only one frame long delete the directional blur effect for this layer and i'm also going to delete the keyframes for the exposure change the exposure to 1.5 and i'm also going to change the position for this layer as well move that more towards the right and then change the Y position to its original position. So I have mine like that. And I'll also just change the color of these layers just so that it's easier to identify. Duplicate this layer again, bring it forward one frame, and we're going to delete the exposure effect for this layer. I'm also going to change the position of this layer. I'm going to bring down the Y position for this layer. We're going to add the directional blur effect, increase the blur length to 180. We're going to duplicate this layer one last time, bring it forward one frame so that it connects with the second clip. Also just turn that back on. And for this layer that we just duplicated, I'm going to change the position back to its original position. And the reason why we're doing that is because we want to make sure that our masked out layer matches with the position of the clip that we're transitioning into so change the position of this click the position right click it and then click reset and what that does is just change it to its original position i'm also going to increase the blur length to 200 just so that it's a little more blurry the final thing we're going to do is create a flash effect in order to make this transition look even better so we're going to create a new adjustment layer make this adjustment layer four frames long bring the adjustment layer so that there's two frames on the left and then two frames on the right of this cut we're going to add an exposure to this layer keyframe the exposure at three at the center and then keyframe both the start as well as the end at zero easy easy keyframes now when i play this this is what we have for our transition and by adding the directional blur and exposure effects to the freeze frame layers just creates that extra movement which makes the transition look better but this is the final transition that's all i have for this video thank you for watching make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next video